Hello again internet and welcome to another Unity tutorial. This time we're gonna look at arrays, specifically game object arrays. Uh, if you didn't watch the last video, we should we just made some prefabs of cubes in different colors that we're gonna instantiate. If you wanna have a look at the previous tutorial, just hit the link down there. Um, and we'll just dive right into it. We'll create a new game object to hold the script to instantiate the cubes. And we'll just call it script. I'm gonna add a script here. Let's call it um, cubes. Make it simple. And um, let's edit the script. Right. So we're not gonna need this update function for this, so I will remove it. Remove the comment, because we all know what void start does, don't we? Um, to make the array, we will just in or declare a public game object array. Um, if you just add square brackets after any kind of stuff, you get the, uh, you get the array version of it, you can make, say, float array for instance but we're making a game object array called cubes uh, what we want to do then oh we can, I can show you here should come up here the array we made four prefabs as you can see down here so let's set the size to four and we can just populate the array by dragging and dropping all these onto here or you can hit the little yellow or little circle thing and just click from there whichever is easier for you um, yes. let's just make sure that this works so we're gonna ins instantiate cubes let's just do it one by one for now and how complicated later on uh, we need a position, we're gonna put it in a new vector 3 with um, the coordinates 200f, 25f, 200f and we'll add no or its own rotation which is quaternion identity and that will just be the rotation of quaternion identity which will basically just mean the rotation that the that the game object already has so we'll make no no changes there and we'll just do this with all of them one, oops, one, two and three so this is the first, second, third and fourth which should um, also mean the blue, the green, the red, the yellow put them in different positions just so it's easier to see Oops. I think this will do if we hit play now we should get all the four cubes in four different positions no matter how many times you click it it's always gonna be the same and if you want to figure out how to do this even more complicated by adding it random positions, random amount of cubes and random colors to all the cubes, stay tuned for the next tutorial, which will be in this link. And thanks for watching.